Hello everyone. In this video, we will look into Edge Flow tool add-on in Blender, which makes it easier to fix object topology and flow of edges, vertices or faces. We will use different examples using this tool. The first thing is to go to Preferences. In the Get Extensions menu, look for Edge Flow and install it. It already comes with Blender 4.3. Let's start with our first object. In this example, you can see the edges in the middle are not aligned correctly and are distorted. Switch to Edit Edge Mode. To access the Edge Flow tool, you can either use the Edge menu. There will be three options here in the bottom. Set Flow, Set Curve and Set Linear. Or you can right click and use the Set Flow menu to access the different flow options. It is better to add these to your quick favorites menu or assign custom shortcuts to access them more easily. I will select the middle edges and use the first set flow option. This will make the selected edges flat and match with the edges on the other sides. There are some additional properties in the settings menu in the corner that you can change if needed. This tool basically looks at both sides of the selected edges and try to fit with the flow of the surrounding edges. Let's try the other set curve option. This will make the flow of selected edges more smoother. You can see how the shape of the edges is more like a curve shape. Now we will use the set linear option. This will make the selected edge flow more straight. The result will be not completely horizontal but according to the position of the edges. This is the basic workflow of this tool. Now we will move into the next example using the same set of flow options. In this object, I will select the middle edges which need alignment. We do not need to select the edges at the ends as they are used for reference in which the selected edges will fit. Use the set flow option. You can see the selected edges are aligned more smoothly creating a clean bend shape. If I select the front row of edges I can use the set linear option to make them aligned flat. I will undo the set flow operation and this time we will use the set curve option to make a smooth curve shape of the selected edges. This makes the edge flow tool very useful to fix topology during modeling process quickly rather than trying to work manually adjusting or guessing the position or shape. Moving to the next example. Here we have a cylinder. In the middle part you can see there are some rows of distorted edges. I will select the edges that need fixing. Using the set flow option, the edges are now aligned correctly and with proper spacing as well. You can use the minimum angle property to further tighten the shape so it matches completely with the surrounding edges. Let's move to the next example. We have a sphere object. I will select the four edges leaving one in between and use the set flow option. The edges will get aligned making the shape round. If I select the inner edges and use the set flow then the result will be different and matching those edges. So you can adjust the flow as you need to. The set curve and set linear options may not apply here so they won't change anything if you try to use them. I will now go through some more demo examples. Using the set curve option, set linear and set flow options. The result will depend on the selection of edges. You can also select faces or polygons instead of edges. 
the result will be same mostly. In some cases, you can use all three set flow, curve and linear options to clean up the flow of your object topology. Just like we can select edges or faces, we can also select vertices One more setting is available in the vertex mode and that is set vertex curve I will select two end vertices and use vertex curve option it will make a half round shape using the vertices in between the two points. You can flip the shape, change the tension value as well from the settings menu. In case I select all the vertices between two points, then it will not work as our selection is not correct. Changing the position of one vertex and not selecting all vertices, I will again use the set vertex curve. I hope you get the idea. Once you use the tool, then it will become more easier to understand. And this completes the tutorial and the overall working of Edge Flow tool. I hope you find it useful in some way. If you would like to see more in the future, then please give this video a like, subscribe, and turn on notification bell as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.